to get a lot of email and comments in the comment section asking the same question, maybe in different ways. Should I get a Chrome OS device, some sort of tablet or convertible, or would I be fine with an Android tablet? And that question comes up a lot of times, and sometimes it's, it's hard to communicate the difference between the two, right? Because now we have Chromebooks that run Android apps, and you have Android devices that now have desktop type modes. And so that's what we kind of want to talk about a little bit today really quickly because Samsung now has had their DeX UI available for over a year. And they've brought out a new tablet, the Galaxy Tab S4, if I'm correct, that has a keyboard and you can actually dock it in the keyboard and then turn on DeX, which is their desktop UI and use it like a desktop. And so a lot of users are going to look at that and think, huh, well, isn't that the same? Isn't that kind of like Chrome OS? Because Chrome OS has Android apps and Chrome OS has Windows and we can move them around. And you'd be forgiven to think that they're the exact same, but in reality, they just aren't. They aren't the same thing. And there are pros and cons to both things. And really what it amounts to is you've got companies trying to solve the same problem coming from different sides. So you've got people using Android OS and iPads using iOS that are tablets first. They are mobile operating systems, and that's what they are first. That's what they were designed and built to do. And then you have things like Chrome OS and Windows that were built first and foremost to be a desktop operating system. And so both of these sides kind of want to meet in the middle to where you have these devices that can be perfect hybrids, that can do both things, right? They can be a mobile device that I can carry on a plane and watch a movie and listen to music and play some games. But then when I'm ready, I want to turn it into a productivity machine. And you've got two different ways of going about getting kind of to that same middle point. And I would make the argument that I think Chrome OS does that way better and is positioned in a way that it's going to do it better than any other OS in the coming months between hardware and software coming together. But let's dig into a couple things of what makes DeX specifically Samsung's UI different from using a Chromebook. So before we move forward, let's talk about what DeX is and probably more specifically what it isn't. DeX is basically an app. It's an app that runs on phones and now you have the Galaxy Tab S4 also utilizing DeX. And all DeX really is, if you remember Remix OS, if you don't, you can forget about this part, but Remix OS was just a skinned version of Android. It was uh, taking what Android already did, which was you know run apps and, and give you a basic uh, home screen and launcher, but then give you the ability to dock things, to have a settings tab, to have windowed applications running. And so it helped people feel a little more comfortable when they're trying to be productive. Well, Dex does that, and I think it does it better than most other things we've seen up to this point from an Android perspective. It feels more productive because now you see windows. When you see quick screen grabs of what Dex can do, it's really compelling to think, this could answer the mail. I could sit down and get really productive with this because you get windowed applications, you get a settings bar. It doesn't look like a phone blown up on a big screen. And so it's compelling to think, hey, with, with this application, I could get a lot done here. I see windows, I see a lot of familiar things. This is something I could probably get work done on. But then when you dig a little bit deeper, that's not quite the case. So first off, I don't want to come off as I'm bashing Dex or saying that it's a terrible thing. It, it isn't. It actually works pretty smoothly in most instances. I mean, honestly, if I was stuck either working just from a phone or being able to utilize Dex, I would take Dex every time. No, no doubt about that. But we have to back up and think about what it is we're talking about when we're get into a desktop work scenario. Why is it that you want to sit down to a larger screen and windowed apps and all those kind of things? What What is the purpose of doing that? And it's, it's pretty simple if you really boil it down. You want the ability to multitask and handle all the things you need to do for work and productivity. Uh, because honestly, I don't sit down at my desk and get a mouse and keyboard out and extended display so that I can watch a movie. I want to sit on my couch and watch a movie or I want to lay in bed and watch a movie. I don't, I don't sit down at my desk and and get out the mouse and keyboard and read a book. You don't do that, you hold a tablet. You, you do something with an interface that uses your fingers and I don't really wanna see 100 things at the same time. I wanna see the one thing I'm looking at because I'm in consumption mode. But the minute I sit down with a mouse and keyboard, I'm ready to be productive. And so that's kind of the divide line between the two, right? And that's, that's what Dex is trying to basically say, hey look, your, your phone's your phone, but then you can plug it in and now you've got this desktop experience. And unfortunately it starts breaking down pretty quickly. Uh, the minute you start opening 
Uh, Google Chrome, for instance, well, you don't have any extensions. So if you rely on extensions to get any of your work done, well, that, that's done. So that's a deal breaker pretty quickly for a lot of people. You don't have regular updates like Chrome OS does, so it's not nearly as secure. It's Android, and there's going to be issues, and things are going to arise. So those are just initial things to think about. And we could make literally make an hour or two long video if we wanted to start opening multiple apps. But a quick example. I can click on a link for a Google Doc to go open it while I'm in Google Chrome, and it won't open because it wants me to open the application because Dex is, after all, just a reskinned version of Android. But if I open it in Samsung's browser, it would open the desktop interface, even though there would be some lag and some of the buttons didn't always work. But then if I open Google Calendar in Samsung's browser, it looked like something from 1995, like no CSS. It was just this kind of broken thing. Turn around and open it up on Chrome and it works just fine. And so it, it's just inconsistent. It's, you're not really sure what you're gonna get. And that's kind of what it boils down to, right? When it comes to work, I'm not really so much worried about how the UI works or whether it's touch friendly or any of those things. I just need to get the job done. And that's where Chrome OS shines because Chrome OS is after all, first a desktop operating system. And so Chrome OS has the ability to have windowed apps and to have true multitasking. And I can drag tabs around and I can move things and things behave exactly like I would expect them to. But the bottom line is this, Dex wants you to open up the app to do that thing. I had a lot more success when I opened up the Gmail app, for instance, than trying to go to Gmail in a Chrome or Samsung browser. Dex is trying to basically give you this uh, perception of productivity without actually delivering it because there's all kinds of missing pieces and sometimes you're in a browser and sometimes you're in an app and they don't always talk to each other and there can be all kinds of issues that you're not really sure what's gonna happen when you go to get work done. Chrome OS, for most people that are going to be productive, they're usually gonna use the browser version of most things. So when I uh, mess with Google services, when I'm messing with my email, when I'm messing with social media, uh, when I'm doing my job as a web developer, I'm constantly inspecting things. And that's, again, one, another thing you can't do in Android, you can't do on Dex. Um, I can't run my IDE on Android. You know, and Again, the list ke kind of keeps going of all the things I can't do over here on Dex. But, Chrome OS comes at it from first a desktop perspective and they've done that pretty well. And a lot of people would say, yeah, well, it's just a browser, but it does a lot of things well, especially with extensions, PWAs coming, tons of web apps. The web has just moved so far forward in the last five years and Chrome OS has moved along with it and is ready for that. Now you add Android apps on the side and it took a little while, but they're getting to the point where it feels very native to run Android apps on Chrome OS. And so now you've got Chrome OS moving more towards the centralized place. And in just a week, we fully expect Google to launch the first Google made Chromebook Chrome OS tablet in Nocturne or what we're thinking is going to be called the Google Pixel Slate. And so you're going to have the hardware that you're after with a consumption device, a media consumption device. You're going to have the app ecosystem with Android that will help you do your gaming and, and, and consumption things and reading and all those kind of things. But then the minute you dock it, the minute you drop it into something at work at the office, you're also going to have all the desktop UI that Chrome OS was built from the ground up for right at your fingertips. And so now you have kind of the best of all the worlds. You have a single UI, a single operating system that can kind of do all of these things all at once. And it's going to be able to do them really well. If Android apps continue to move forward the way that we're seeing them move forward and then throw in progressive web apps on top of that, Chrome OS starts becoming the thing that can run most things and, and do most things. And maybe, just maybe, gets to the point where we have one device that can actually behave as both consumption device and productivity device and do it really, really, really well. But guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below and until next time, we'll see you.